Okay, we're going to have a quick look at how to use uh, the new app from Turnitin on the iPad for marking. Uh, we're here in one of our Turnitin uh, assignment drop boxes and we're going to pick on any paper, doesn't matter which one. When you open up your paper, you will find down in the bottom left hand corner, instead of the usual I and print button, you'll also now find that you have this square symbol supposed to represent an iPad. Selecting this will give you the option for generating an access code for your iPad app. Click generate code and then write down this access code. You'll need to type this into your iPad in a moment. Okay. So we've already downloaded the Turnitin app and it's on our iPad. But the first thing that we need to do is actually go into the settings. Find the Turnitin app on the left hand side, then change the data source to Turnitin UK. Once you've done that, you can go back and go into the Turnitin app itself. Now you need to select access code on the top. Now enter the code that we were given from the computer. Once you click add, it will add all assignments from that module. The module is called the sandbox and here are all the Turnitin assignment inboxes that were within that module. If we go into the demo one for today, we can see that there was one submission and currently it's not been synchronized. When you tap it, it'll ask you if you wish to sync all papers or not now. So we've now downloaded this paper and it's ready for marking. We can scroll through the paper just as any other document and this option at the top here allows us to turn the originality report on and we can browse through it the same as we would do on the PC. When we tap the screen it'll give us the options of overlaying text, of inserting a comment, which we can save as a new quick mark, or we can insert a quick mark. All of these we can press and hold to move around the screen. If we press and hold on a line, it will give us the option of selecting the text. We can then use strike through, and again we can use comments and quick marks. Using the button in the very top right corner, we can edit the grade, we can open the attached rubric, And we can add general comments. You can also record audio comments.